Hello everyone. This video will show you how to enable the send enter key feature on a Zebra device. This is also known as auto enter or auto carriage return. And this specific device is a Zebra MC3300. But this setting can be found pretty much in the same spot on most Zebra devices. I'll dive right in here and I'll show you what this feature can do. And so as you can see here, we pulled up our RF Smart for NetSuite project. I'm just going to minimize this keypad for a moment. And you can see here that the cursor is in the username field. Now typically you would just type your username and password here, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and scan a barcode into this username field just to populate it. And you can see that it did, but you can see that the cursor did not move down to the next line. And so that's what this setting will fix. And so we're going to go back to the home screen and then we're going to swipe up to get to all of our apps and we're going to look for data wedge. And then we're going to go into profile zero in this case. You can see here that these sections are highlighted in a bluish green, so we're going to scroll down until we find this keystroke output section. And so we'll scroll down a little further through this section until we find basic data formatting. And in basic data formatting, you can manually add the suffix, which will be the auto enter here. But Zebra has made it nice to where they actually just have this property already set as a Boolean true or false value. So we'll go ahead and enable it. We will go back to the home screen. And we'll open up RF Smart for NetSuite again. And then we'll clear this out of here. So now when I scan this barcode, you'll notice after it populates it, it drops it down into the next input field, which is in this case the password field. And it did. And so that is how you set the send enter key or auto enter or auto carriage return setting on a Zebra device.